one small thing we need to take care of first. Everybody, Bullvice89 here, and yesterday was the Electronic Entertainment Expo E3. Um, it's basically an expo where uh, the biggest game companies come together and they showcase what's going to go on in the next year of gaming. Um, of course, in this video, I'm going to go over Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. Um, I am leaving out um, EA and Ubisoft. I can do a video on that if uh, if you all want me to. Leave me comments, but um, these are the big three. And I stuck to five games per um, company. And of course there were a ton more games. I just thought these were the coolest ones and the most popular ones. But I will definitely add links in the description down below to the full press conferences if you guys want to watch them. They're pretty, uh, pretty cool. And um, the other games that are announced are awesome. Um, it's going to be a good year to be a gamer. And uh, let's go ahead and start off with Nintendo. <coughs> Uh, the first game was that caught my eye was The Legend of Zelda. It has uh, cell shading and it's an open world game and it looks like it's a massive game. The second one is Pokemon Omega Red and Alpha Sil Sapphire. Excuse me, um, a remake of Ruby and Sapphire with the new graphics. Um, there was a brief little trailer of um, the Nintendo president playing Star Fox on his on a TV. It's a blurry. Um, but he's using the gamepad to steer the ship, so a new Star Fox would be cool. Um, Mario Party 10 is coming out. It looks like it looks pretty cool. Also, you can use the gamepad to be Bowser and kind of wreak havoc on the other players. And uh, Mario Maker is also coming to the Wii U. Uh, it lets you basically make your own Nintendo um, Super Mario levels and then play them in a Super Mario fashion. So cool. Uh, next, I'm going to be going into Sony. Uh, they have Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, which looks pretty cool. Uh, the Uncharted series is really, really popular. Uh, Mortal Kombat X is coming out. Um, it has brand new fighters, and the graphics look amazing, and so do the combos. Uh, Little Big Planet 3 is also a really popular game that P PlayStation comes out with. Uh, Dead Island 2 was also announced. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be exclusive to Sony, but they announced it. Uh, Dead Island 2 um, is a zombie survival game. It looks really, really fun. And the other thing that caught my eye is they're going to be releasing a white PS4. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm still in favor of the black ones, but the white ones are really cool. Um, so that was it for. Sony, uh, of course there is a lot more stuff, but I'm not into Sony stuff as much, so uh, if you want to watch the press conference, it's down below. Uh, next is Microsoft, which is my domain. Um, they showed off Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. They're going to get the DLC first before everybody else. Um, the gameplay looks amazing. They had grenades that could switch effects on hand, um, jump packs that lower you to the ground so you don't get hurt. It looks like it's going to be really cool and it could revive my faith in the Call of Duty series. Uh, Sunset Overdrive is another um, shooter type of game. It looked insane. Um, I'll post it and you can watch it during the press conference. It's hard to explain. Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider is pretty cool looking. It's the sequel to Tomb Raider, the newest game. Uh, she actually becomes who she's supposed to be, which is like the Tomb Raider, which is really cool. Um, the Halo Chief Master Chief Edition is coming out for the Xbox One. It's every... Um, it is every Halo game that has been made with Chief in it. Um, it has Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, uh, Halo 2 Anniversary because it is the 10th Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 4, uh, the beta for Halo 5, and the new TV show for Halo that is coming out soon. Um, if you love Chief and you love Halo, uh, this is definitely a thing to get. It's all in one thing. You can make playlists of your favorite Halo missions and just go through them all. Uh, if you love Chief, I would buy it. Um, I love Chief, and if I had an Xbox One, I would definitely purchase it. Next, 
Next, I actually saved the uh, very best for last, in my opinion. Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite games, and they showed off Assassin's Creed Unity, which um, the graphics look absolutely amazing. It takes place in France during the French Revolution, so there's chaos everywhere. Um, it shows a guy sneaking into um, a mansion to assassinate somebody, but then other players join, saying that it has a co-op. Uh, campaign. I'm so excited for it. It looks so amazing. Um, I will definitely post it down below with the Microsoft press conference. I'm so excited for it. So I hope you all enjoyed my E3 roundup. Um, every Monday, I know this one's late because I wanted to get all the E3 information in, but every Monday I'm going to kind of do a news um, update with anything movie or video game related or even tech. Um, let me know if you want to see that. Um, I'll post the next episode next Monday, and I hope you all enjoy it. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. Another note that I saw was a Skylander's um, trap team. Um, you basically trap your enemies, and you can use their powers against them. I know that I have a nephew out there who loves those games, so that should be pretty cool for him when it comes out. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all enjoyed this E3 rundown, and uh, make sure to check out the press conferences down below in the links, and uh, have a great day. See you later.